What's up guys, it's i 7 rct bringing you another video for you guys. This time around I'm bringing back Backlog Blues, but I need to preface this with a little bit of an explanation here. Recently, I think, I believe a week or a week and some days from me filming this video, I, I caught wind of Electronic Arts, of all people making a publisher sale which they had on their origin now you guys know where i stand with ea and most of the stuff that they've done around the years i've spoken to that even in a, a pass unfiltered however i couldn't pass the opportunity because there were some titles here which i completely missed out due to some of the decisions that i just mentioned and um I just I saw that and I jumped at it because here were a couple of titles that at least would merit a quick look, a uh, playthrough, or whatever, just to get my own feeling for these set games. Now, not all of them I missed because of what I just said. Some of them I just missed because, to be honest, there was so the, a flood of so many awesome games to cover that I really didn't find time to actually. You know add more and as you can see by the need for me to create this series there are a lot of titles that I have in the backlog so adding to that doesn't help the cause much but saying that I just had to jump on this and the game that I'm gonna be showcasing today for backlog blues is Plants vs. Zombie 2 or Better yet, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Plants vs. Zombies 2 came out on mobile phone. I've been enjoying, or I enjoyed the hell out of that one. But I kind of missed out on the whole 3D Garden Warfare thing. So now is a great opportunity, and especially at the price that I got these titles, which they range from anywhere from $4.99 to $9.99. Um, the one that I paid the most probably was uh, Battlefield 1 which again it was still dirt cheap because i got it for like 14 something and it included basically every single piece of download content so far so yeah that's gonna be another title that i'm gonna be covering very soon on backlog blues but for today for today we have plants vs zombies which let me start loading this up here on origin Hopefully it won't give me any issues because I tweaked it. I have to tweak it a bit. There we go. The sound is a little crazy though. And what I mean by crazy is crazy loud. Sound here, sound, there you go, sound. Hmm. Let's wait for it to load, see if we still don't get any sound because for some reason. I had to tweak the settings a bit. Taking a while to load. Of course, this one I got with a whole bunch of packs. No word for loot boxes, but you know. This character that I have right here is one that came in the many, many packs that I had 
already included with the purchase. Now, before I get into this, this is something that this game in particular, I kind of picked it up because of me, because I really wanted to play and enjoy Plant vs. Zombie in a 3D setting. And from what I've looked from the first one, it looked really, really good and really fun. But I'm, I did this more for Afro Soul, because I know you're going to be watching, and you, you're going to go crazy over this game once you start seeing how it plays out. Because she's a, a Plants vs. Zombie freak, and at least the second one on the mobile uh, platform, she was going crazy on that one. She would have like these marathons on and on on the game, so... This for you, sweetie. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, no codes, no codes. Let me see what happens if you warp home. I just want to see where it is. I think this is it. A sticker shop. I revealed a whole bunch already that I've opened, but these are the ones that I had left over because I wanted to leave a few for the for the video. And for uh, I can tell, there's actually two more gifts here. Phenomenal plant. Okay, let's open it. Ooh, Toxic P. Alright. And Paco Luck. Okay, to give the Lucky Charms kind of look to the character. These are actually the ones that you can purchase. Some of them are time limited. Of course, I got uh, 200,000 coins when I purchased the game with some other stuff included that I already opened. Some of them were basically characters and, and uh, abilities and stuff like that. Uh, some rare cards or whatever. But basically, the gist of the game is Plants vs. Zombies but the only difference is that you're in a 3D environment. You have three moves. You can move around anywhere you want. You can play multiplayer here. This is basically the central hub after you get the, the intro with the whole... Actually, let me go... I don't think I can start from the beginning because it has only like one save file so here you can customize these are the characters that I get or that I got from the packs that were available to me let's go with the basic one and let's make them toxic go so let's take one of the quests because this is basically quest based of course there's some uh, exploring that you want to do check the environments and stuff everything is just so detailed and nicely done What's this? Oh, the credits. Okay. Never mind that. And you can actually get out of the hub. And travel around and do stuff. But, I'm not going to waste...
just take one of the missions that we got so far here. Garden Ops. Let's go solo. Map. Oh. Let's try Bony Island. Normal. Let's try it out. Now, once I get familiarized with the game, because there's a whole bunch of stuff that you're not used to when you're playing Plants vs. Zombie, because remember, Plants vs. Zombie has always been uh, tower defense. You just place them, and you go for it, and just wave after wave of zombies just come in, and everything is kind of like, in a way, automatic. Unless, of course, you need to place... Uh, some new ones when you start getting yours killed or whatever but here is kind of everything is kind of real time I don't know why you're skipping damn don't tell me I'm gonna have to lower down I'm gonna have to lower down a bit uh, the settings Turn back to the graveyard because acting a little weird. Just drop the settings a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Auto attack and apply it. There we go. We're doing basically almost 4K here, so it's a little understandable that it gets a little wonky. If it still gets a little wonky, I'll just bring it down to 1440p and make the adjustments over here. Okay, let's go back. Bony Island, normal, launch. Let's see if now. may not think it, being that it's a Plants vs. Zombie game, but this is done with the Frostbite Engine 3, and it's pretty demanding. So the objective is to plant a garden and defend it from... Let me get a hero here. Which is a companion which I can choose from. I can swap places with. And the objective here is to plant... What's this? Enchant. A. Where is plant? Oh, okay, there we go. You're supposed to plant all of these in the flower pots and then have, I guess, the wave of zombies come in and try to destroy it, and your task is basically to defend it. Another one 
here. And the first wave is coming in 24 seconds, so I gotta hurry the hell up. And get as many as possible here. That's it. No more time. So I gotta stick around and defend these guys. Let me check this one out. The zombies. There you are. Ha! You got special moves. I'm gonna try one out now. If I find the zombies, where are the zombies? Okay, that's it. That special. Oh, another wave. I didn't plant. Crap. Wave two. Where are they coming from? There they are. Aha. Uh -huh. Plants. Ooh, I got a shield. Nice. Turn into a ball to squash him. Let me change with the other guy because I don't know where the zombies are. There they are. perfect wave 10 seconds and I still haven't planted anything so the objective is basically complete the objective and in order to do that you need to plant as many as you can before the waves hit Okay, need to be here to start squashing zombies. Plant! Oh shit, we got a pirate. Got it. I need help. You self revive. Damn, I'm getting splattered.
No, you won't. Leave my flower alone. There's only one left. Where is he? There you are, you bastard. And he's dead. Let's return to the backyard. Now there are tons of modes, tons of missions to try and explain all the stuff that's in this game is almost impossible in one setting. All I can say is that a, it's pretty fun take on what you already know about Plants vs. Zombies. The only thing is that if you're just used to that style of play, the regular style of play, going into this one is a little bit overwhelming. But if you stick with it, I think you're going to have tons of fun. Because they have so much more to do than the regular stuff of tower uh, tower um, defense. It becomes more personal, much much more up and close and in your face. Because of course you're going in a third person, almost first person mode. So yeah, and I gotta give props to uh, the developers. They did a wonderful job making these colorful environments and making the characters basically come alive in 3d which is not easy because look at the detail on these characters you know plus when you add that they have like different versions you know they're using the frostbite engine which is pretty advanced but when everything is said and done it's it's a really really cool game and i'm really glad i picked it up so yeah, both Afrosword and I are going to have tons of fun playing this game and seeing what, you know, what we can get out of the game. You know, where does it take us, what mysterious um, places it, it takes us and stuff. So yeah, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Backlog Blues feature of Plants vs. Zombie Garden Warfare 2. There's more to be covered because from this um, purchase bundle that I did recently, you gotta remember there's still titles like Battlefield 1, which I'm already setting up to do for you guys, Mass Effect Andr Andromeda, um, all these titles with their DLC, respective DLCs. Uh, I have, um, what else is there? Titanfall 2 is another title. And that one I tried out recently, and it's it's amazing. I missed out on that one. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's old news, but that's why it's Backlog Blues. Because we're going to go back and get back those titles that I kind of missed the first time around. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, if you please. And uh, share the video. That's, that's Basically, I ask more for sharing than actually subbing and um, anything else or liking or whatever because it helps me out more you know getting out there I know that this is not for everybody but there's gonna be somebody who's gonna like it and you know who knows so that being said thanks a lot see you guys soon peace